everybody, I'm Mrs. Bodishan. Today we are gonna learn how to write ionic compound formulas. In other words, I'm teaching you the swap and drop method. Let's get started. So first, is it an ionic bond? Is it between a metal and a non-metal? If it is, you're good to go. Let's go ahead and do the formula. So I'm gonna teach you through the steps of how to do this, ready? Step one, you're gonna write the symbol of the elements, easy enough. Step two, you're gonna write the elements oxidation numbers, which is the charge that they become when they're ions. I've written them all here so you can see their oxidation numbers. And then you're gonna use a swap and drop method to swap those oxidation numbers and we're gonna drop them down and we're not gonna be including the positive or negatives any longer. So let's go ahead and try one out. We're gonna try lithium sulfide. So first we get our symbols, so lithium, is Li, sulfur, which is really what sulfide is, right? You're not gonna find sulfide on the periodic table. That ending um, has been modified because it's a compound now. So you're gonna find sulfur, which is S. Next one, you're gonna write the elements oxidation number. So if we look for lithium on the periodic table, it is right here. So our um, oxidation number is positive one. And then if we look for sulfur, you can see it's right here, and our oxidation number is negative two. So go ahead and write that as a superscript so you can see what ions they will be forming. And then we're gonna use our swap and drop method. So all you do is you take those oxidation numbers, you swap them to the other element, and you drop them down from a superscript to a subscript, okay? So they were on the top, now they're on the bottom. They were, one, they were with one element, now they're with the other element. So that's all it is, a swap and a drop down, okay? So it looks like this, and you notice the one is now on the sulfur, and that is understood, we don't have to write it. And our two is now with our lithium. So this is the correct formula for lithium sulfide. Let's try one more. We're gonna do aluminum oxide. So again, we're gonna start with our symbols. Aluminum is Al, oxide is really oxygen, so it's O from the periodic table. We're gonna go ahead and look at our oxidation numbers. So Al aluminum is right here, which is a positive three charge. And then oxygen is right here, and that is a negative two charge. So we're gonna go ahead and include those now. And what we do next is our swap and drop method. So you're gonna swap those to each other and you're gonna drop them down. So this is what it looks like when we're doing that. The two is now gonna come for aluminum and the three is now gonna be over here for the oxygen. And remember, we're not taking the positives or negatives with us. We're gonna leave those off. So here is our final answer, Al2O3. Thank y'all for watching. Bye everybody.